Hello everybody, I'm Nick from Pixie Woo and today I'm going to do a video for you of the Royal Wedding Makeup, Kate Middleton. Um, everyone's talking about it, I'm getting married in February so I'm really excited and had to stay tuned and watch the whole event and uh, I thought I'd recreate the makeup for you. So here we go. Now the foundation I'm going to use is Futurist from Estee Lauder. It's a great foundation that makes the skin look healthy and glowing but without looking like you've got too much makeup on. Now if you find that your makeup doesn't stay on brilliantly, you may want to use a primer underneath the foundation. My skin is reasonably dry, so it stays on quite well without a primer, so I don't use one. But just before your foundation would be where you would put your primer. Now I've got Studio Finish Concealer from MAC and a MAC 224 brush. I'm just going to pop that under my eyes. Next I am going to take a little bit of primer and I have got a Clinique base. This is called 10 Canvas. Pop that on my finger and just rub it onto my eye just to give me a little bit of a base for my makeup to stick to and stay put. You don't really need a brush to do this one. So pop that right the way over. Then I've got MAC Shale Eyeshadow. It's a very soft purpley tone so it brings out the green in the eyes. And then softly brush it right the way over the lid, not too harsh. Now Kate did her own makeup for her wedding so there's no reason why everyone else can't um, give it a crack go at it. Now I have Avon Super Shock Eyeliner in black. I'm going to not use it from the actual wand, from the actual pencil. I'm going to get a MAC 266 and just softly take a little bit off of there. The reason I've gone for the Avon one is it's very very long lasting and it's reasonably waterproof. It stays put very very well. So um, I'm going to use that right the way under the eye. If you use a brush you can just get a much softer finish from it. You can see how easy it goes on. I'm going to do the same on top of the eye, really softly. Next I've got Clinique Long Wearing Formula Mascara. I like this because it has a small wand so I can really get every single lash. It's nice for doing the bottom lashes as well, this mascara. Next for the eyebrows, Kate's got quite strong eyebrows and they looked reasonably strong on her wedding day. So I'm going to use Brun from MAC. Just to softly define the brows. I've got a Clinique powder this one is a 20 invisible blend and then just matte the skin down I'm going to add a little bit of bourgeois bronzer and Kate has beautiful English rose cheeks so I want to get a bit of definition through there. Then I have Avon Colour and Contour in Rose Glow, which is really pretty. I'm going to use the same brush as I did before and just take the highlighter and pop that through the top of the cheekbone. And then the slightly more pinky tone on the apples of the cheeks. To get that rosy finish. For 
the lips, I've got a number 7 Lip Perfector. Perfect lip pencil in 20 nude. And just colour the whole lip in with that. And then over the top of the lip, I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Plush Glass, and this one is in Big Baby. And for those of you that want to get the full Kate look, and they love the dress that she got engaged in, I found this lovely nail varnish from Avon. It's called um, Kate Sapphire, which is the colour of her ring, and I think it's gorgeous, so you could put that on with it as well. It's absolutely divine. So there we have a finished Kate Middleton wedding makeup look. Hope you've enjoyed that. Bye bye.